Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Dana and today I have this awesome cake for you with banana and mascarpone cheese. I made this cake for a dear friend of mine and um, I, I had to show you uh, everything. So I'm gonna start uh, with the sponge cake for which I'm gonna need 130 grams of banana, a pinch of salt, 35 grams of walnuts, 65 grams of uh, butter, one or two grams of cinnamon depending on how much uh, you like it, um, uh, powder one, two eggs, four grams of baking powder, 85 grams of, uh, of flour and 70 grams of, uh, of sugar. I'm gonna start by, uh, by um, grinding the walnuts with the food processor until they're nice and fine. And also I'm gonna use the same food processor to, to mash the, that uh, ripe banana. I'm gonna mix uh, baking powder and, uh, and flour. This way the cake will uh, rise evenly. I will uh, put a pinch of salt over the eggs and whisk them up uh, really good uh, and I will add the uh, sugar and continue to mix. Add now butter. I tried to, uh, to warm up the butter a bit on the microwave but got a bit too melted but uh, it's still good to, to use. Mix it in. Next I'm gonna add also that uh, mashed uh, banana. This is gonna give lots of flavor to the, to the sponge cake and also cinnamon. And again we're mixing. After almost each ingredient that we're adding we mix. Over the walnuts I'm gonna add a bit of that uh, flour mixture just because this way uh, the, the walnuts will not drop at the base of the cake. Mix the flour and uh, the walnut mixture in and this is the batter. I pour it in a thin 15 um, centimeters wide uh, lined with uh, parchment paper and grease with some butter. Bake it in the oven at 180 Celsius 350 Fahrenheit for about 25 minutes. After baking do the baking the, um, the toothpick test and uh, turn it upside down on a grate and uh, let it cool down. Remove the tin and also remove the baking paper. This way the, uh, the sponge cake will uh, cool down faster. It's really soft and really really um, moist. While that is cooling down, let's make now the custard. I have 280 milliliters of milk, vanilla paste, 25 grams of cornstarch, 60 grams sugar, 3 egg yolks, and uh, I'll put the milk on a, in a pot and on the stove until it's gonna get really nice and hot, but add um, a 1 teaspoon of uh, vanilla paste uh, over it. To, to give more flavor. If you don't have vanilla paste, vanilla sugar is, is good enough. When the milk is almost uh, ready, mix cornstarch with sugar and starting uh, mixing uh, the egg yolks. Don't uh, mix them uh, too early because the, the sugar will kind of draw the moisture out of uh, your egg yolks and is not gonna end up a really nice custard. So mix egg yolks using a simple whisk with sugar and um, and cornstarch and you're gonna notice that the eggs are changing the color like a pastel -y, uh, yellowish uh, color really creamy and nice take the milk of uh, of the stove and pour it in a really thin stream continue to mix with a um, with a whisk we don't want scrambled eggs, the milk is really hot. Pour over all the milk this way. Return the mixture in the pot and cook it on the stove on low heat until uh, it is uh, really nice and, uh, and thick. Take it now off the stove. Look at this nice color smells amazing and tastes uh, taste great and uh, 
we need to let it cool down again so I will cover it with cling film but I'm not gonna cover the pot just like that uh, I will uh, have to um, touch the caster with a cling film because otherwise that uh, really uh, nasty crust will form on top of the custard and we don't want that here I know lots of you love that because you can eat it like it is but we need all this custard for the cake I'm gonna make a syrup uh, out of 100 milliliters of water one tablespoon of sugar I'm gonna boil that on the stove until sugar is dissolving add one uh, teaspoon of vanilla extract and let the syrup cool down now let's make the, the cream and I have here 400 grams of uh, cream um, uh, with 30% fat. I kept it, uh, kept it in the fridge because this way is gonna whip up faster. Uh, also I'm gonna need about uh, 30 grams of sugar and 150 grams of mascarpone cheese or, um, or cream cheese. I take from that uh, container 150 grams of uh, mascarpone cheese, add the cream over. You can put even the metal ball in, uh, in the freezer for, uh, for about 10 minutes to, to ensure the success uh, on this uh, whipped uh, cream. Mix it really nice so with, uh, with your mixer and add sugar over. and uh when uh when you saw this you're gonna see this cream that is nice and stiff uh stop the mixer and uh and uh let everything cool down now let's assemble the cake i'm gonna put the custard in a piping bag the same i'm gonna do with the the cream based on uh, cream and the uh, and mascarpone I'm gonna slice the sponge cake on, on three equal parts horizontally using this knife. I'm gonna put syrup with a brush on each, uh, each um, slice, put uh, cream as a ring uh, all around the, the, the base of the cake, custard in the middle, again some, uh, some cream with uh, whipped cream and, uh, and mascarpone. Level everything with uh, with your spatula, with your offset spatula. Work nice and uh, and be delicate because this cake is so sweet and uh, and uh, needs lots of uh, lots of love when you make it. Add the second slice of sponge cake. Put syrup on, and do the same. Cream on the outside, custard on the inside. You can see the difference in color, but also the taste is going to be amazing. Level everything. Last slice of, of the cake, syrup, and cover all the cake with, uh, with that cream with mascarpone. I decorate the cake with some flowers made out of uh, sugar paste that I painted in the middle with uh, food dye. But from, uh, from this stage, it's up to you how you decorate the cake. Just uh, let your imaginations and your skill to, to help you out. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I will see you in here next time with another recipe. Until then, find reasons to smile. Bye bye.